Hey guys, Chris here. So I'm working on this film and uh, I had to make a ringtone for a mobile phone that is in the film. So this mobile, fo mobile phone would ring a couple of times within the film and uh, it had to have like a custom ringtone that we needed. Uh, and this ringtone w is based on Dvorak's uh, New World Symphony, the fourth movement, the Allegro con Fuoco, which I will play to you here, and I'll let it. I've prepared a little crossfade here between the the movement and my and my ringtone, which I was asked to do a sort of uh, eight bit mock up. Uh, so I will let you hear it, and then I'll tell you what I had to do and how I did it. Let's hear. Whoa, 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 stop the video for one second there, because after the third or fourth take or what have you that I thought it was fine and then I started editing, as you can see, I realized that I would forgot to mention who did the, the music that you're listening to right now, the Dvorak, the orchestral piece, which is not some random, you know, YouTube rip or what have you, or, or from a CD that I use here, but actually it's a mock-up, an orchestral mock-up done 100% with samples uh, that a friend of mine did, Mr. Michael Zilmer and you can find his website at michaelzilmer.com and you can find then his Twitter, Facebook, etc. All, all there and listen to his music and he's also a, a composer for uh, films and games and he's amazing as you can hear especially with the orchestral stuff it's quite mind-blowing so, and the reason I asked him to do it, because we actually needed the orchestral piece too for the, for the film, and it was uh, the best possible way to not deal with, you know, licensing and recordings and stuff. I asked him to do a mock-up because I knew that his mock-up would sound 100% authentic. So, there you have it. So, seek him, uh, follow him on Twitter. He's actually he has a, a YouTube channel that I will plug in the description and which he's posting, started posting tutorials about how he has made his orchestral template and stuff, uh, which is super interesting because his orchestral template is massive and, and super nice. Uh, so yeah, that, that's making amends for being stupid and not mentioning it where I should have mentioned it. So. Thanks, Mikkel, and let's go back to the video now. Etc. Etc. It's a loop. Uh, the first part is a bit more simple, and then goes into the more complicated part. The thing is, if if you listen to the ringtone here, uh, doesn't sound anything as if it's coming from a phone. And obviously, I can you know introduce some some type of EQ, a little bit of a different reverb, maybe some convolution reverb from a, a, a room or what have you, there are some plugins that you can use, for example, speaker is one of them, that kind of simulates, you know, the sound coming from speakers and stuff. And these are all fine and they can do a decent job. Uh, but I wanted to, to, to be a little bit more authentic with it. So what I decided to do is that I actually, you know, exported the sound and I uploaded the export on Dropbox and I just use my phone here so I played it through the phone 
and I use my zoom recorder to just capture the sound and I actually capture it from uh, like a bit of a close-up and a little bit far away so I can uh, you know use whichever one sounds better within the world of the movie and here are the results so let's solo this is the far and this is the close So, yeah, I thought that was a fun way to, to you know, to, to, to solve this problem and be as authentic as possible. So, yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this little, I don't know, thing. And see you in the next one. Bye.